of guys on these uh, on the rear facing machine gun barrels I would say put those on dead last because they're very fragile and they really get in the way put on your rear facing machine guns last guys that's parts uh, B78 in step number 11 put them on dead backing last or sure in hell you'll break them off like I have well or else bend the fuck out of them so make sure you do that guys and uh, we're just getting this uh, I'm a sh I thought it was a periscope but it must be I'm wondering if it's not a little 37 millimeter ranging cannon it uh, just goes into the front of the mantle here the mantle's kind of a funky multiple piece. They've got the canvas pieces going around it, uh, C5 and whatnot. And uh, so that just is a matter of. These are kind of tricky getting them because there's a. You got to get them back up inside there. In there. There you go. You just got to. You just gotta pay attention to what you're doing and you'll be golden. So there we've got all of step 11 completed. Okay we got a real clusterfuck here in step 12. Parts D3 and D2. It's like suddenly bang they're from another kit. They don't fit worth a damn. So I've taken it off and filled it and fucked and filled it and it's just it's a, it's a bloody mess. So you're going to have a real big seam here you're going to have to fill. Uh, they've made them too small. They need it to be about another millimeter longer each side. We're going to have a big ugly gap underneath here. And it's, you know, taking a fairly nice kit and just turning it into a complete fucking mess, which is a real shame. Um, trumpeter guys, come on guys, this should not happen. Two little pieces in such a high vis area, such as on your uh, on your mantle, shouldn't happen, boys. This should uh, they need to rethink this out, and guys, really take your time with this, or it's going to be a complete frickin' mess like mine is. But with some weathering and whatnot and clean up, it will come out. It will pop back out. It'll take some work, but it just shouldn't be. So keep an eye on that in step 12, parts D2, D3, D2. And C5. C5, they'll have you put it down in the bottom here. Don't do that. Wait until you get these two side pieces on and then mess with, with the whole damn thing. Got this mess cleaned up around the uh, mantle. It's coming along. It's just uh, trumpeter could have done a little bit better job on that. So right now what I'm doing is uh, drilling out the muzzle brake. So just find an appropriate drill. Hold it straight up and down. Better if you do it on the on your workbench surface like this. It's not going to take that long. What you want to make sure is that you drill all the holes on a 90. No, not on on a, on an angle. So you want to make sure that this next set is straight up and down the axis is on a 90 get your just straight up and down as you can and boom then you just a matter of going through and drilling those out okay we've got the turret just about all done just the uh, heavy 12.7 millimeter machine gun on that um, We got this cleaned up around the mantle. It's not great, but it'll do for a, a Soviet Cold War era tank. One thing that just baffles me is that um, when you mount the barrel in, it's on an angle, but this big 12.7 up here, if you see the way it's mounted, it'll shoot right into the barrel. So I'm not sure if that's me or if that's the kit, but. I don't know it seems kind of odd because I can't uh, 
when you line this up it's on an angle so I don't know I have no idea so a couple of little misses on that but all in all that's a really good looking tank it's a good looking turret I'm kind of surprised they didn't uh, keep these in production but I guess it was so heavy that the roads and whatnot and the bridges just couldn't take it so we've got that done we've got the uh, the road gear all on and the running gear ready to go and I just shot uh, just used some uh, army painter um, black primer on it we threw the uh, the barrels on got it all primed up and ready to roll so that's cool and it's coming right along okay guys our turret is uh, complete on this uh, JS7 turned out quite nicely very happy with it um, there's a few little let's see my the barrel actually for a two-piece barrel turned out quite well and the um, muzzle brake turned out good overall I'm very happy with the way this uh, turret turned out now we're going to turn our attention back to the hull we've got all the running gear on it's just all given a quick shot of uh, Army Painter black primer, and we're going to throw some tracks on it now. Okay, these uh, trumpeter tracks on this one, they're made out, uh, there's a top and bottom section like that, and then we just make the link to length around the corners. So what I'm going to do is try and uh, get it set up so that I have this in one piece, and this coming back around, and then joining right back into here so I can pop it off and paint it. At least that's the plan. This took all of about 20 minutes. I used uh, four extra links in the back end and I've just taped them around like this. And I've had in the past, when I've used a really hot, fast cement, I've had these things shrink on me. I'd get them all ready to go, I'd leave them unhooked at the bottom, so I'd put them back on. They shrink up and it's about a half a length out and if there's no um, way of adjusting the tracks, you're really foobar. That happened to me on a, on a Dragon T34 a few years ago. Uh, the tracks were, met, were, just, were, were just done. I had to throw them away and, and start all over again. So make sure that you uh, don't get any, um, you're using a slower cement. I use the Tamiya Green Bottle, Green Top, a little slower, a little longer acting. Now I've got these set up so I can basically unhook it here, pull the um, pull it off and paint it and then put it back on. At least that's the plan and I hope it turns out that way. I've got some extra links if I have to uh, do some surgery and you can always uh, put them up underneath and, and hope for the best. You know, throw a little mud on the tracks and then go from there. But these, these tracks go on really well. The running gear complete. We've got the tracks painted and uh, coming right along. There's a few little issues. You need to be uh, really cognizant of how these little pieces go in and how they fit up in here. It's a little tricky so you need to watch that. Otherwise everything's pretty darn straightforward with this trumpet kit. It uh, fits pretty nice. Um, no complaints about the fit or anything like that. So uh, yeah, we're moving right along here. Well here we are, the final piece of this big cage for the headlights and, and horn up in the front. We've got the passenger side on. They take a little bit of tweaking. Um, the main posts are a little uh, long, so you have to tweak them up a bit so that the fronts will uh, touch the front of the armor plate, but that's on. they got really nice tow hooks they send along with it. A nice, soft, thick uh, copper cable that you can uh, fold and, and uh, run around for the tow hooks. All in all, this is, this is a great kit. Highly recommended, guys. Um, I'll get this into primer next. And I think this is going to be the last installment of uh, building the kit. I'll show it once more once I get the uh, get the front uh, light guard on. But other than that, uh, next thing we'll do, we'll do a whole series on painting of this. So the very best thing I can suggest in these headlight covers, guys, is you actually drill these locating holes out. Make them a little deeper, go right through. That way these heavier end posts can just slide right in and then the front cage will just uh, s settle right down into the uh, contact with the glacius plate. So there you have it guys. 
we've just gone ahead and we've built the uh, Trumpeter JS7 heavy tank. Wicked kit build. I'm going to put this aside a bit and we'll get it, prime it up. We'll prime it all up with black. And painting it's going to be a completely, uh, completely separate video. This one's already long gone long enough. I'm not sure if it's going to be one or two parts. but Anyway, there you have it, guys. Highly recommended from Trumpeter. Definitely another another uh, another win for them. Great kit. Later, guys.